So we're gonna get a little nerdy, a little sweaty today because Intel and AMD announced their new laptop chips for 2022. Intel introduced the 12th gen Alder Lake mobile CPUs and AMD has their new 6000 series. But the big question I'm seeing in the comment section of my videos is do you go with Intel or AMD in 2022? Honestly, I'd be lying if I told you to go with one over the other since no one has been able to compare them yet. But based on the manufacturer's claims, we can make some assumptions on which companies offer the better processor. First, we need to start with Intel because their lineup this year is a bit confusing. The H-series processors will still be Intel's top performing mobile GPUs, the ones you find in gaming laptops. The Core i9 includes six performance cores and eight efficiency cores for a total of 14 cores or 20 threads. The i7 will have the same amount of cores as the i9, but a lower clock speed and the i5 chips will have four performance cores and eight efficiency cores. The new addition is the P-series, and this sits between the H and U-series. Think of the P-series as a reduced power and max turbo power of the H-series running at 28 watts instead of 45. The U-series is still around and will be in most thin and light laptops like the HP Envy or Dell XPS 13, and that will continue to run at 15 watts. AMD's lineup is easier to understand, and the way it works is identical to the previous year. It will still be running off of the Zen 3 platform, but slightly modified to be Zen 3 Plus, and instead of running on a seven nanometer architecture, it will run on six. There's no P series with AMD, but the H series has a lower 35 watt HS option, and the U series can run anywhere between 15 and 28 watts in order to keep competitive with Intel's offering. Intel will probably have the better gaming processor mixing and matching performance cores with efficiency cores. If their new Alder Lake mobile CPUs work in the same way as their desktop versions, expect one of the biggest jumps in the Intel lineup we've seen in years. In fact, some of these performance charts they showed offer massive performance gains compared to previous generations. AMD, on the other hand, is less confusing. The best H and U series chips are still rocking eight cores and 16 threads, and there's no efficiency cores to confuse things. AMD says their 6800U CPU will only be about 10% faster in Cinebench R23 than last year's 5800U. However, offer twice the 1080p gaming performance since this is due to the new integrated RDNA2 graphics cores, which offers a massive leap in GPU performance. According to AMD, up to three times faster than the Iris Xe found in Intel's 11th gen Ultrabooks and faster than Nvidia's MX450 dedicated GPU. Both the AMD and Intel H series processors can boost up to five gigahertz, but the question becomes which one can stay higher longer and will Intel's efficiency cores perform just as good as their desktop versions? Either way, Intel is claiming a 28% boost in performance compared to 11th gen laptops, which is bonkers because 11th gen Intel was technically faster than AMD's 5000 series for gaming, at least at 1080p. I truly think Intel will have the faster CPU this year, but at the expense of a hotter chip and worse battery life, AMD moving to a six nanometer architecture will further improve battery life and make it easier for vendors to keep the internal components cool. The good news though, is that AMD finally brought PCIe Gen 4 to its mobile laptop, something Intel already had last year with their 11th gen. AMD offers the same amount of PCIe lanes to the GPU, which is eight, four for another NVMe SD, plus another four to another NVMe SSD or drive. However, from what I understand is that Intel will use a separate SATA connection, preventing latency if a second gen 4 NVMe SSD drive is installed. AMD will have to reroute one of the SSDs through the CPU's PCIe 4.0 connection, which in theory could cause latency. Not a big deal to most, but something to consider if you plan on running two gen 4 drives in RAID 0. The good news though is that AMD laptops will ship exclusively with DDR5 memory, whereas with Intel, depending on the product you're buying, it supports both DDR4 and DDR5. Thunderbolt 4 will be there to connect external GPUs and power more than one 4K display if you go with Intel, but AMD is no longer at a disadvantage since USB 4.0 is finally a thing on some of these upcoming laptops. That means AMD laptops with USB 4.0 will provide 40 gigabits per second of IO bandwidth, just like Thunderbolt 4, putting AMD at parity with Intel. Honestly, this is an exciting year for Intel as they're finally bringing in some sweet competition and choosing the perfect laptop will pretty much come down to your own personal preferences. If you're a creator and gamer like me, 
and don't care about having the best battery life, my gut feeling is Intel will make a lot more sense for you. But if you're a developer or student who wants the best battery life and the coolest system, AMD is probably the better option. Expect most of AMD's H-series processors to start shipping around April and Intel's in February. The bottom line is it's not gonna be a no AMD, no buy type of year. It's gonna be a very competitive year depending on whether there's enough supply something AMD has struggled with throughout 2021. I can't wait to test out all these laptops, so make sure to drop a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these future reviews. Like the video, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.